Oh my god, why Zepp was not playing Final Fantasy fourteen? Zeppa, yeah, she she fell for the gotcha apparently. Why Zeppa is not playing Final Fantasy fourteen? It's very strange the way I've felt the past few days, past couple of weeks. This is the first time that there's been a patch for Final Fantasy fourteen, small or big, that I didn't log in for. Okay. This is the first time. Maybe the only, yeah, I, I don't think that there's ever, even when I was not really playing a lot during Stormblood, I would still log in for a patch, even if it was a small patch. Yeah. And some people are asking me why that is. Some people are like, did you quit? What happened to her? What did Gen shit do to her? Are you gone for good? Uh, no. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, but I got burnt out. I actually, I didn't think it would happen to me. Because I played Final Fantasy fourteen nonstop all day, every day, for like six or seven fucking years already. That's crazy. Since 2015. That's the way it is for a lot of people is like somebody takes a break from a game after they've been playing it nonstop for years and then everybody thinks they quit. I've played all the time. All the time. I've always been in the game or at least you know, logged in, running around. Mm -hmm. This is the first time where the patch came and uh, I didn't feel like I need to log in. I don't feel like I've got to play right now. Even though, obviously, I love the Loperets. They added the Loperet Beast Tribe. They're adorable little bunnies. They're my favorite Beast Tribe, probably. So I want to do those quests. I want to do Deep Dungeon at least once with a group. But those two things alone don't make me feel like I need to drop everything else I'm doing and do that right now. I don't feel like... No, it's, it's, no, it's not a big deal any pressure and i think also like back like two years ago there weren't a lot of other games to play the truth is like a lot of the games that people are playing right now weren't super popular two years ago so because now there's more games to play you're gonna have more people playing different games to do that right now and i've been really spending a lot of time since yesterday thinking about why like what happened to me is it just Genshin Thirst? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I yeah. don't think it's just that. No, I don't think it's just Genshin Thirst. No. No, I think it's normal. Maybe, yeah, I, I think there's a few different factors at play here. A big one being the okay. fact I just got really burnt out from top. I think this is the, the biggest one. But before that, what had been happening in the past year since the war started last year february the war started mm -hmm. and uh i was just moving around yes yeah, normal to play new, new games yeah i think so well the reason why this is such a conversation point is because a lot of the people that play mmos they are so fixated on that mmo that if anybody moves away from the game they just assume that person quit the game because in their mind not playing the game is quitting it not playing the game every day is quitting the game a lot i couldn't play a lot this is the way a lot of people do mmos i did story i did some raiding um but there were a long a lot of times where i just started the stream and we would only talk about final fantasy 14 and i felt like i really just i only need to focus on final fantasy 14. i should only talk about final fantasy 14. Yeah. only i felt really married to it i felt very tied into it but in the process of me trying to always have something to talk about that's related to final fantasy 14 for a year a lot of times there was not something this is the same thing that happened with WoW for me, is that, like, I used to only stream WoW and, like, play WoW, and then I just got bored of doing only that one game all the time. Because, like, we had talked about everything there was to talk about. We had done everything that there is to do. 
So it's like, now what are you going to do? You're just going to keep running the same dungeons over and over and over and just repeat the same content? It gets boring. Wait to talk about. And a lot of times, especially last fall, when I felt like I was just, I felt kind of lost. I felt like, what am I even doing? There were times when I would just go to the FXV subreddit. I would go to uh, FXV discussion subreddit and I would go to the forums. Yeah, and find new drama. Like, the same three to five topics. Yeah. Uh, like, it felt like it was just the same three to five things we would always say over and over and over. And it just kind yeah, of. Like store mounts, like LFR. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Or me down because I felt like there's. In trying to always talk about the game, it made me feel like there wasn't a lot going on <laughs> in a way that I had not noticed before. Yep. And trying to very hard to make more content all the time about the game. It becomes very forced and it stressful. It started to feel, I guess the, the phrase started to show for me. The cracks started to show. And I was tired. Like it got to a point where people were actually getting mad at me, like, people are getting upset in the comments of our videos we'd post. Because people are just, like, tired of it. I'm tired of it. They're fucking tired of it. It's the they same like, with any drama. like, oh, what are we going to talk about today? Just... It's the same drama. Like, uh, any time that there's, like, a big topic, people will, at the beginning, people, everybody wants to hear about it. But then people get tired of hearing about it. Whether it's Stormounts, Hogwarts Legacy, uh, Forspoken... Uh, one uh, Diablo Immortal, like any of these games, people eventually just get tired of seeing the same content. So how Criterion Dungeon rewards aren't good? I'm like, well, yeah, I guess this is where we're gonna have it. And it's just like we're. <laughs> I was already burning myself out. Lately, it's it's it just became very very clear to me. You can't just scrape the bottom of the barrel all the time for the little shred of content that you yeah. can do. But I, I feel like it happens a lot in FCC community. Like anytime there's any teeny tiny little bit of drama, that like, the smallest little droplet of drama, people gotta milk it for all it's worth. Because Absolutely, because there's not a lot of drama in the game, and so it's so, it's the same as like in in fucking the Dark Souls community, bro. If if they make a tweet, there's going to be like seven videos about it. We already saw that happen. There's nothing else to talk about. Because exactly. Have, it's just nothing it, to I do. think yeah. a lot of it has to do with just the way that content is released and following and supporting. Which is the fact that you got a major patch every four months. Mm -hmm. And in the t between that, you'll have an incremental patch that has not a lot in it. It's just not enough to keep people busy all the time for there to be like the the to run the content mill in a normal way that no, i think that's a good thing i don't think any game can really do that in a healthy way games do no I'm game not does that, that in that's a healthy entirely way bad it's one of the things that makes final fantasy 14 such a unique and a good mmo and i've said it many times is that it doesn't pressure you to always be playing like a lot of mmos do you can just go in yeah. you can play you the play new it, content and the new content usually will take you a week maybe two and you can just go back to whatever else you're doing and that's the way that they built the game in fact, with this new incremental patch, there's a relic weapon step, <clears throat> which is the relic weapon is supposed to be something that you work on slowly uh, over a long period of time. It's supposed to be the thing that's keeping you busy as a casual who yeah, wants course. to log in more. From what I understand, the step is just turn in like 1500 tombstones or something. Okay. Which I could do it right now. Like I could log in and get it and then log out without doing anything because i already have that currency just it's not even it's not a lot wow you just pay for it and you're done it's, it's not lit. necessarily bad for a player there's not fomo right mm -hmm. there's not pressure to constantly pay for your sub but from a content creation standpoint for me trying to always have I think the Final Fantasy content, the best content for Final Fantasy is Ultimate Progression whenever it comes out. Different social and guild events like Preach used to do and I did too. Like with going to these different like nightclub type things, etc. Doing the MSQ, which is the main thing. And then also like first impressions with raids. Outside of that, there's not a whole lot to do. 
uh, make something out of nothing all the time and like mm -hmm. the news, 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 news all the time and uh, what's happening with FF14 now, it, it's just, it really, it, it was always already burning myself out. And uh, I think in some ways it, it makes, it's, I started to feel really uh, just negative and, and not, not very good. Then we did DSR around the Christmas holiday where I did the Ultimate Raid DSR. We went hardcore hours. We did eight hours a day. And God. That's what happens with a lot of people is they play a game super seriously and really hardcore. And then they just burn themselves out by doing that. Like, I've done that to myself with multiple games in the past. Like, I think the best example of this is with Lost Ark. How many of you guys made a bunch of alts in Lost Ark? You played, like, super seriously for two months, and then you quit completely because you started to hate yourself. I loved it so fucking much. Yep, there you go. I loved it so much. It was the hardest content I'd ever done. It was incredibly intense. It was so much pressure. And I was there for it. I was just ready to do my best every day. And it completely just like, for me, it was just like this oasis of like, wow, I remember why I love this game. I remember what makes this game so good. I remember what makes the content so fun. It's this, this is the pinnacle of writing. This is, we all have to work together and do our absolute best in a synchronized way to defeat this content. And it's so, it was so, sweet i loved it and uh i felt like such a revitalized interest for the game with dsr that's nice and it made me okay. think well i got so much enjoyment out of that i should just raid i should raid some more and so i got ready for top and uh see the problem with like raiding regularly is that it never ends i think the best thing about working towards a goal like dragon song reprise like the the fucking heaven's world ultimate is it ends. Doing it constantly and raiding constantly is the issue. Like the grind. And it's like it never stops. That's what's exhausting. TOP is bro is that TOP the Omega protocol? Is that is that what it is? I don't know what the acronym I is. I wasn't as prepared yeah, for Yeah, okay. Didn't have time to put the whole group together. Didn't have time to meet the group before we started. Didn't know most of the people in the initial group. And so when, when we went in there, it was kind of a disaster, mm -hmm. to, to be completely honest. Uh, because by the time we started recruiting, most people had already found a group. So it was really, really rough uh, trying to get it together. And then like top was, week one was a disaster. Uh, this is the way I felt in Nighthold and like Tuma Sargeras whenever I was raiding is like I just I felt like it was never going to end. I wasn't enjoying myself. It was incredibly brutal and punishing. And at the end of the day, it wasn't enjoyable. And I had my stream to focus on instead. And that's what I put my priorities on. We had to replace so many happened. people. There were people who just couldn't keep up. There were people that yep. could Dick not, suckers. Uh, did not were not consistent enough to do the content. That's right. And then it didn't help that it's... I would say it, it felt harder than DSR, but not like in a, in a fun way. It just it felt kind of miserable to prog. And um, I would have probably stuck with it if our group had stayed together. I did that for longer than I should have. I was doing top, and if you were watching some of the top streams, you've probably seen did that she I wasn't beat having it? a good time. I was just not having fun. I was straight up not having a no. good time. <laughs> we weren't making progress. We were just wiping on P1 over and over and over and over and over. I, I got desperate to the point um, I started- Yeah, see like whenever I start wiping in a raid, I'm done. Especially if it's somebody else's fault. I don't want to waste my fucking time waiting for some dipshit to figure out where to move. It's too much work keeping a log of mistakes so we could keep track of what the making fuck mistakes. what the fuck is that and, uh, so this are you kidding me can all like have accountability and um holy shit are, are we, you kidding what is the group wiping this... to and uh, people would ask me well, Bro, that's half filled out. Day, so i was doing this for the team 
And, oh my uh, God! This is it's death note. I would yes. Keep track of how many mistakes that I've made that caused a wife every day, day what after the, day. Bro, after what day. the? Do you see how many pages this is? Of this shit holy, there is? are you kidding me? How many pages? This is some fucking serial killer it's manifesto page, shit. What the page, fuck is this? Of, like, me it's a game. It. She's got death but note I right have there. To do that. Holy fuck. Okay. I should have known already that was a red flag. Yes. You need people in your team. This that is some are FBI does a wellness check on you thing. Themselves. If you see like my initial thoughts after we cleared DSR, I made like a little video Holy summarizing my fuck. thoughts on it. And I actually got some people criticizing that and kind of upset about what I said. Because I had said in it that DSR was such an incredible combat experience, such an incredible battle experience that reminded me of why the combat in FSV is so good. Uh-huh. Because it forces everyone to use all their buttons. It forces the team to work together. You have to do it all. You have uh -huh. to play your best. Or you can't clear. Uh, this made me see battle content in the game in a new light. It made me see the rest of the battle content in the game in a new light that I hadn't seen it in before. And, uh, compare- Is she saying because the new one sucked and this, the one before this was good? Is, is that what she's trying to say? It's harder? Yeah. So... I kind of felt this way with uh, Vicus in Lost Ark. I thought Valton was... Well, Valton is, in my opinion, one of the greatest raids that I've ever done. It is the best... Uh, yeah, I would say it is... Valton Gate 2 is the best ARPG boss that I have ever fought against in all time. And also, I don't even think it's close. It is absolutely fucking goaded but vicus can suck a dick fuck vicus vicus sucks i hate vicus compared to that incredible experience that i had doing ex the expert roulettes is just not interesting to me from a battle from a combat perspective mm -hmm. that's not interesting to me the uh trials like the newest trial was really a face roll you can wipe several times like it's not we were actually going to make a guide for it and i was working on the guide for the new extreme trial and then we we decided not to release it because it, you don't need the guide to clear the fine i was working with selly uh we were gonna is it that easy the guide. but the guide uh we had it all written like we had like all the all the graphics ready yeah and um we just uh, was that the was this the one with the girl with the big boobs no okay that's the only one i know about decided to not post it because you don't you don't need it you can you can just go in and have no idea what you're doing and clear the fight without an issue i play fxv for the story and for raiding. Those are the two main reasons that I play FXV. Uh, the friends of mine that I know that are still playing FXV right now, just waiting for the next patch, are either like, you know, they're doing the deep dungeon content right now, which I will do eventually, or they are in an FC, they're, they're social players, they are taking screenshots, they're having fun, they're at, they're at nightclubs, they're DJing or any of that stuff. Okay. I know a lot of people that do that kind of thing. And I'm not interested in that, really, that much. Uh, so for me, I care. Yeah, the social element of it, like the the deep social element, it's very hard to get into that. And like the yeah, those are like super super hardcore players, the people that really enjoy it. WoW has that. Every game has that. For a story, I care about raids. And there's no raids out right now. Uh, maybe when the Savage tier comes out, that could be fun to do, possibly. Uh, story, I definitely want to do. So that's my priority. That's what I care about. Um, there's just nothing in the game right now that I want to do. That like I really feel like I need to do right now. So that's why. I'm not going away. I haven't left. So she uh, I'm quit. I'm going to stop playing. She uh, quit the game. I love my character. And it's I love over. the world of, X of XV. And there are many things that... I, She's done. You know, it's home for me in a She's lot of ways. She's not going to play anymore. But it's been healthy for me to branch out. Yeah, she's quit. She's quit Final Fantasy XIV. That's crazy. Even Zeppelin quit the game. Oh my god. I can't believe it, guys. Wow. That's awful. Yeah, quit forever, too, by the way. Not even just for a while. Quit forever. 
It's over. Yeah, it's over, guys. That's it. It's donezo. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess the new raid crushed. I mean, the thing is that making a raid that is so fucking, like, it's just, like, so hard. It's, like, there's a point where things become so difficult that they're not fun. And I do think that, like, sometimes developers fall into that trap of making something that's, like, so stressful and difficult that it's just simply not fun it's stressful yeah it's, it's just not enjoyable however there are other people that do enjoy it and it's always a balancing act between like how many people are actually enjoying this how many people are not etc uh, i remember kill Jaden was like that i remember botanist oh my god i fucking hated botanist that was the worst ever literally the most shit ass boss ever god damn i was getting so mad have you seen a trailer for Valorant character? No, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, making a Dark Souls of MMOs is never going to be fun because in Dark Souls, whenever I die, it's my fault only. Exactly. Yeah, you don't have to worry about like five other people fucking up and then you being punished for it. Yeah, I definitely think that's the case.